Hey guys, it's Genevieve, and today I'm going to show you how I depot my eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to just be depotting the ColourPop ones that I have. So I'm going to show you how to depot them and organize them in my Z palette from Ulta. I bought this from Ulta, and this part is a magnet. And it comes with extra magnets um, inside it. So if you do depot a certain um, eyeshadows and they don't have a metal like metal bottom you can attach this to it it's a sticky part and then metal attach to the bottom and it'll magnetize to the palette but these ones already have the tin at the bottom like the metal piece so it'll attach easily and you don't even need to add that which is nice so now I can save these for something else um, and you can really you could depot different things like blushes like little blushes or whatever um but also it's good to depot certain thing certain eyeshadows and stuff that you don't want like kind of cluttered everywhere and you want to just keep them all in one place or just keep your favorites all together so there's different things that you can depot um so i already did two of them and i have two more to do this is what they look like came out of here and then I did a purple one. So those you don't need to add magnets. You can just add it to the palette. Stick it on there and it won't fall. So that's kind of nice and cool. So I have two more. These ones. It's like a burgundy and then a like champagne color. I hope the lighting's okay because I am filming this at night. Um, but what I use is a regular tweezer. What you're going to do is twist the cap. And then you get your tweezers. You get the edge of this. Try to find the corner in here between the tin that's holding the eyeshadow and then the plastic container. Be careful you don't stab the actual eyeshadow because you don't want to mess it up. So just kind of find a good spot that you think there's a little bit of a gap. So like right here. But make sure you, like once you put it in there, you pull it like away so you can kind of pull the plastic back. It could take a couple tries. So try to get in between the plastic and the metal tin. Just try to push it down there and then push it out. Literally, I pushed down in this corner and then this side ended up popping up. It didn't happen for me last time, but I mean, it popped up, so that's awesome. So... And the thing about the ColourPop eyeshadows, at the bottom they don't have a glue, they have like this gel thing underneath it. So you're going to want to get a napkin and wipe it off. That way it's clean and it sticks to the magnet easily. And what you can do is get a hand sanitizer and put a little bit at the bottom. Once you wiped off the gel, put a little bit at the bottom. Rub it, and then with the napkin, wipe it back off, just so it cleans all the anything that's underneath it. It kind of takes it all off and cleans it. And now you have the eyeshadow. And then this is what it looks like. It has some of the gel still in there. Now I'm going to do the burgundy color one. Same thing. It's easier to do it like down on the table, but I'll try to show you up here. Dig it in there in the corner. Oh, see, and it kind of just popped out for me. That didn't happen last time with my other two eyeshadows, but that made it a little easier. Just wipe off the stuff from the bottom. There's a little bit of eyeshadow at the bottom. So then I'm just going to add some hand sanitizer to the bottom of it and then wipe it with a napkin. If you don't have hand sanitizer, you can use just like water or something. Just try to make sure it's pretty clean. Now both of these are done. 
and we can add it to our Z palette. easy as that. Wasn't that hard. It's pretty easy process. Sometimes it can be a little hard if you can't, you know, get it out. Also, what I like to do is um, at the bottom of the eyeshadows, they have the name. So I like to like peel it off, cut it into a small square, and then stick it on the back. And then I like to try to put the eyeshadows directly on the other side of it so I know what the name is and what color is what if I ever need to know. So that's all you have to do to depot your eyeshadows. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you want to see more videos, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.